Hi, thanks for joining us and watching the HyperDocs channel. Raise your virtual hand if you're feeling overwhelmed and exhausted from remote lesson planning. Many teachers have expressed fatigue over learning new tech tools and stressing about whether or not their lessons were at the same caliber as they were in their traditional learning environments. Many educators have expressed a need to rethink design and delivery of lesson plans. We believe that HyperDocs can be that solution. Grounded in effective pedagogy, the creator of the lesson is in control of the lesson flow. Package nicely and customize for your learners, HyperDoc will put you back in the driver's seat of lesson planning. In this video, I will show you how to create a HyperDoc in five steps. I will show you the process involved in thinking through your lesson decisions so that you will be off and creating in no time. Let's pretend you want to create a HyperDoc on the USS Maine and Yellow Journalism. First, you make a copy of our lesson planning tool and you'll have your own version to edit. Start with step one. Just go box by box and think about the decisions that are prompted. What are your grade level needs? Current content area. What are the specific outcomes you have? Just jot some of those ideas in box one. Step two is to look at your cycle of learning. We did a lot of research and picked these four as our favorite. Oftentimes you'll see us using Explore, Explain, Apply, but we tuck that into the basic HyperDoc model as well. Thinking through some of these pedagogy components will really help you once you start creating. Step three, look at your packaging. Are you gonna design on Google Docs, Google Slides? Maybe you're a Microsoft user. Either way, set a quick decision around your packaging. Step four, workflow. How am I gonna push out content, collect it, and will there be feedback? In this case, I'm gonna use Google Classroom and Padlet. Next. Step five, what design choices will you be making? What kind of page color, fonts, images? In this case, I really wanna be sure I use primary image and then we'll kind of go from there. Hope this helps you give a quick overview of how to fill out our lesson planning tool. Now let's take a look at these five steps in relation to that one HyperDoc lesson. You'll see step one, determine objectives. I've posted the objective and essential questions on the front of the HyperDoc lesson. Step two was to choose a cycle of learning. You'll notice that this particular HyperDoc has explore, explain, apply. Step three is to think about your packaging needs. You can package a HyperDoc on any Google app or web tool or Microsoft tool. Step four, consider your workflow. In this case, the HyperDoc really uses Padlet and Google Classroom to collect work, turn it in, and solicit some peer feedback. Step five, design. Always design with your learners in mind. Peek their interest with a primary image, order things on a table to help them follow along, include fun head or tail things. You design with your kids in mind. Voila, see how you can create an effective digital lesson in only five steps? Now the good news is you don't have to create from scratch all the time. Once you have your lesson planning tool and thinking complete, you are ready to start your actual HyperDoc. This can be done in one of three different ways. Number one, you can remix a HyperDoc lesson that you have seen. Just file and make a copy. Number two, you can use a template. Templates can be found on our website. Once you select one that fits your cycle of learning, all you have to do is file and make a copy. Option number three is to start from scratch. Once you are ready, click File New Document, File New Slides, or whatever tool you plan to use. Your lesson plan book will soon transform into engaging HyperDocs. Remember that when you create a HyperDoc lesson in these five steps, you are really just making a series of decisions. So for more on designing HyperDoc lessons, be sure to check out our courses at hyperdocs.co. We invite you to join our HyperDoc community in the social media platform that works best for you. Have fun!